welcome you to the family thanks for tuning in in this video I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the differences between uh, art style and art levels or technical skills for this I'm going to use myself as an example and I'm also going to showcase uh, some of the uh, artistic evolution and I'm still evolving within the arts so this summer I decided to dive into understanding uh, how certain parts of the anatomy works um, understanding like the proportions and whatnot just being more conscious of my uh, pen strokes more conscious of why the human body is the way it is you know so for example we're gonna dive into like the art style first okay so for the art style this is the uh, old page right here I'm, I'm pointing to it I'm circling it so for example here you can see that uh, the deltoid muscle isn't as shown much the little curvature from the uh, how the arm is supposed to be isn't shown much and like the the distance the the proportional distances within the uh, the face isn't uh, as accurate for example uh, here you can see like uh, the the distance of you know in realism the ear is usually at this distance compared to the uh, the nose and the and the eyebrows for example the top eyebrows matches the top portion of the ear and the nose matches the bottom portion of the ear you know they're aligned at a they're aligned perfectly and as opposed to this uh, it isn't as aligned perfectly because you can see that the ears doesn't really match the eyebrow as much but it does somewhat match the nose but it's, it's like I said it's a little wonky but you can still see the art style is this art style is still visible throughout the uh, throughout this uh, comic so yeah throughout this page the art style for this and this it still contains the same essence of what makes it the uh, the comic Oscar you know it still it, it has the same essence however um, although it has the same essence it may be lacking in the uh, the proper way the proper proportions and all that but it still has the same essence so however you can clearly tell the uh, the differences just based on the anatomy improvements so I say that uh, you know reason why you know humans you know we are appeal we appeal more to realism is because you know subconsciously and not only subconsciously but all throughout our childhood we're you know presented with actual human beings that have the correct proportions of an actual human being you know that's realism for you. we've grown up you know perhaps subconsciously knowing like uh, certain distances certain like proportions of a human and it may appeal, appeal more appeal more to us however if you were to like grow up in like um, an alien world that's far from earth yeah if the anatomy of the alien world looks like this and you've grown up your entire life uh, look, seeing other creatures or people looking like this with the uh, with the um, the ear you know being in a, at a different distance from the eyebrow you know then this would be uh, a lot more appealing to you as opposed to uh, something like this you know um, now how building from fantasy is you know constructed what makes the blend of fantasy and realism appealing to uh, humans of earth is uh, you won't really see an ear looking like this in uh, in humans. However, it's based on the foundation of the the human anatomy and the proportions of the face. And once you understand the proportions of the actual human where the ear is placed, like the actual human face, understanding those proportions, then you can start to abstract it a bit into turning it into fantasy, so that you can blend it to make it look more appealing to the humans of Earth. So. If you were, you know, to like look at this, and this came from a different Earth or a different planet or what, whatnot, and you've grown up your own your whole entire life seeing people that look like this, this may look appealing to you. But again, it's all based on the artist's the artist's uh, 
preference because you know there are some simplistic cartoon styles that don't really use uh the uh the realism and th they don't have to and now for some more examples uh, this page here uh, you will see like this is a really uh, this is the old pa version of the page I'm about to show you uh, right here you can cl see that the anatomy isn't as accurate because the, the biceps and the triceps right here for this uh, guy here they're way too uh, small at that distance you know and everything is fairly like cluttered but you could see the the same art style remains consistent throughout the, the next page and also there's, there's a mistake with the foot here because this here isn't supposed to be like all the way back here this this bone here but uh, with the new with the new one you'll see that I it's the same art style you know however what what uh, improves is more so like the the knowledge of some of the technical skills and and applying them okay so right here this is where the this is where the deltoid is lo the deltoid is located and this is where the biceps and the triceps are etc I'm also playing with uh, for shortening here and there you know and the uh, the spaces in between they're they're not as cluttered when you look at this here because this is like a really cluttered uh, space okay so and also there's uh, something with the uh, right here the biceps and the triceps again and this uh the shoulder pad here is also covering the the deltoid muscles which is which is uh on top of here though this isn't a uh this isn't a uh, anatomy tutorial this is more so to get an understanding of uh art style and uh you know the art artistic uh, skill and technical levels and, and and whatnot so uh we're gonna come to here this is the this is a older version of uh, the page okay so the art the art style here the, the my essence still exists here okay but again this is uh, the slain the same clutterness that you see here you know it's is expressed and not only that uh I want to speak about the uh, the flatness here uh, to make even though even if uh, a drawing is correct when you're looking at it like a uh, straight up it may be uh, boring to like the viewer because you know it's just is this straight up you know what makes uh what can make it interesting is changing around the uh, the camera angle uh, of the the drawing you know so so this is the the more uh, this is the more updated version okay so right here this is a lot less cluttered as opposed to uh, this portion right here and also the the ink the the ink pressure the ink pressure is really uh, strong here it's like really there you know it's just very much pressure there as opposed to this you know this is a little bit more controlled and and more light this is more of a light touch you know and uh, right here uh, you see that the the camera angle has has shifted a little bit you know just to make the uh just to make this uh, a little bit more dynamic the same same thing for this now uh in in realism for example uh this this uh the calf muscle here you know this should uh equate to around two heads but uh you know i have uh, some inspirations from uh you know mangas such as uh such as one piece for example you know it is uh so it is a kind of stylistic choice to not have this calf muscle equal to two heads when you're drawing the uh when you're drawing from realism you know but you know it's all based on a choice you know i may actually have it equal to two heads later on maybe i'll change it but uh that that's uh it, it, it's a stylistic choice and in um and if you're conscious of it and you know why you're you know doing the things that you're doing then that's that's cool and so to use another example uh, we're gonna go with uh, a popular manga known as Shaman King which has a, a simplistic style still appealing and uh, but it doesn't you know 
exactly follow the the core of you know realism so if we if we come here uh, the the torso for example the torso should be at least uh, you know two heads you know however it's made with one head and the torso that's not including the the belly button so if we were to like just come if we were to like come here this uh, the head okay the head here is equal to like uh, uh, the torso like eh, the torso equals two heads basically so like one part here equals one head another part here equals uh, two heads and, and then there's a this is the separate part okay so however in this in this style it's uh it's um it's just the torso equals to one head you know and uh and like for uh the legs for example uh there's a in realism if we, if we were to compare the two okay there's a there's a curve that's supposed to be coming down from here okay like for, for a leg you know it should curve like this and then there's another curve like if you follow the mouse motion you, you can kind of see what I'm trying to make here <laughs> but uh it doesn't follow that and it just has a uh, the straight up uh you know leg the the straight up noodle leg so to say you know and this can be you know purely a stylistic choice you know and there's a, a little bit of the deltoid muscle showing here but but not as much but Shaman Ken is a very popular manga you know it, it's and it can be like a, a really stylistic choice and it doesn't always have to to you know follow that that realism that realism so to say you know and another example is uh, this thing here. If, you, if, we, if we can zoom in, I'm not sure how to zoom in on this, but you, you won't see that dent here in the uh, the, sh the 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 shaman king the shaman king art style. You know, if we were to like go into like a, a realism t sort of say, um, like for example. Here, there's a there's this little dent here, and then it ind it indicates the the cheekbones, you know. But al although this isn't like all the all the way realism, it is close to it, it's, you know. And it, it really it really just all depends on on what you would uh, like to go for when you are, you know, deciding on making your comic or so, you know. And so I didn't actually start going back into my fundamentals in, until this summer of 2017 so I'm going to show you guys uh, some of the works of how I evolved without knowing my fundamentals and some aspects of anatomy so this is my this is basically where I was at in uh, in high in middle school towards high school okay so uh, and then as we like move forward as we move forward here uh, this is the uh, the first one of my first uh, digital colorings. This is freshman year of college, and this is when I discovered that deviant art exists existed. So as we like move forward, you know, these are still like me not understanding some of the uh, the fundamentals, you know, and I mostly evolved, you know, still like you could see the difference between the skill level from here all the way to, to here however there's still uh, some fundamentals that were missing so for example some portions of the anatomy some portions of the perspective uh, the background I just I to be honest I eyed the entire thing I eyed this this background I just saw what looked good I didn't really look at the idea of um, one point perspective or two point perspective I didn't like look at any tutorial or read any books on this these are all just eyeing it and it's pretty much uh, me this this entire one shot was pretty much me learning manga studio and photoshop and various other things you know and so there are two methods uh, the one called studying and another called practice and studying is when you are actually gaining knowledge from a book, a tutorial, or a teacher. You know, you're collecting that knowledge. And so that method is called studying. And when you're practicing, 
that's when you're actually applying what you're studying you know so I haven't studied my anatomy since uh, since this summer but I'm going to go come back to it like as soon as I'm done like uh, practicing like actually memorizing some of the stuff that I've learned you know and then after that after I've like kind of memorized it and have it ingrained into my subconscious mind then that would be the time to just go back to you know the fundamentals like to like look back at how the, the hand is made you know in realism go back to a, that that book or that tutorial you've seen you know that or that teacher or so just to see and com compare and contrast the differences so that you could see what you miss because there are tiny intricacies within anatomy like s even smaller muscles within anatomy that some people may not uh, be aware of so rather you're a self-taught artist or you're being schooled uh, it'd be the most beneficial to come to your fundamentals go to your fundamentals and understand how certain things work so that you can uh, start to progress further in your artwork and that will make the difference between the uh, the artist that progress progresses like that takes years to develop versus the artist that can progress very faster in a short time span and that will be the video thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed or found this video engaging hit that red subscribe button below and peace